Fortnite Battle Royale is over a year old and the game has undergone a lot of changes over the past 12 months. Dusty Depot is now Dusty Divot, players have now become master builders and this whole side of the map used to be virtually empty. Long gone are the days of running endlessly from the storm because we have jump pads, space rifts, golf carts and even shopping carts to help us get by. When the map and our way of transport has changed a lot, one of the things that is also changing are the items and weapons that we use in the game. But while a lot of these additions have been superb, some left players wondering what earth the devs were thinking with every update. Obviously some of these changes have been rectified, but there's still some items that really should never have made it past the testing stage and are still in the game to this day. Hi, my name is Adrian from Practical Gaming, and before you launch Epic Games and spend all your V-Bucks on the latest dance moves, I'm going to share with you 7 Fortnite weapons and items, past and present, that never should have existed. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to keep up to date with all of my latest videos. You ready? Let's get it. Number 1, the crossbow. This weapon came out for the Valentine's Day patch of the game and it was swiftly removed because it is trash. Never mind the fact that the only good thing about it is the unlimited ammo because no amount of arrows will make you hit the damn target. As a long range weapon on paper it has max 79 damage with 47.4 DPS and a fire rate of 0.6 seconds which doesn't seem too bad. But comparing that to weapons like the hunting rifle which boasts greater damage even as an uncommon weapon there's really no need to actually pick this thing up. The drop off and the arrows felt much worse than any other weapon and unless you were playing on PC it became virtually impossible to get a kill. It never felt satisfying to shoot and on the off chance you actually managed to land a hit, it was kind of like, wait, what? Is that it? Is that all I get? I understand why they put it in for the whole Valentine's Day theme and Cuba's love arrows and all of that, but really they should have worked more on the mechanic of the weapon and they realised this themselves because no one was picking it up. Even in the early game, if that's your first weapon, it's almost equivalent to just having your pickaxe. The crossbow has been void ever since and good riddance because nobody is missing that weapon. Number 2, the suppressed SMG. SMGs over the course of Fortnite's lifetime have probably undergone the most changes alongside the shotgun. For the longest time they're one of the worst guns in the game and will be out of your inventory faster than it takes Phil Spencer to mention for the Motorsport at E3. Of course that's all changed with the P90 and the new MP5s, however they're still somehow persisting with the suppressed SMG. When they introduced this idea, I understood it. Be stealthy, be discreet, and sneak your way to that victory royale. The problem is, nobody plays like that anymore. Even bigger problem is, the gun itself isn't really that good anyway. Players like to rush their opponents, get in, grab the loot and get out. Whether it's for kills or for the general excitement of the match, this is generally how everyone plays and you can't succeed in doing that with a suppressed SMG. The fire rate isn't good enough for close quarters battles, the damage isn't strong enough for mid range battles and you would never even think of using it to pick off enemies far away, so really it has no place in this game. In the early game it kinda works because you have no choice, but once that's over, drop it out and get a real gun if you're generally serious about winning. Number 3, the bush. Now I remember when he announced this way back in 2017 and I was so excited at the prospect of this item. Hide in the bush and get the jump on your opponent without them noticing? It sounds great in theory, but in reality the execution of the bush was piss poor to say the least. At the start I had this kind of buzz about it and had everyone on edge, checking every bush and wasting your ammo on the off chance that someone would jump out to scare you. But now the game's changed, I like to the suppressed SMG there really is no place for it in Fortnite right now. Once someone has been shot they'll quickly build a fort and try to kill you, you'd think they won't find you right? Well the fact that your head is poking about 10 inches outside of the thing is kind of a dead giveaway. It would still be a good item if it wasn't so painfully obvious that someone's in it, but unfortunately it's just another item that makes you feel bitterly disappointed when it drops out of that chest. Epic Games clearly had high hopes for it considering they made it a legendary item from the beginning and it still is to this day, but it's clear the deficiencies in the item and it's genuinely shocking to think that it hasn't yet been vaulted. Number 4, the revolver. Now imagine this isn't a popular choice for this list and to be honest I don't really mind the revolver too much. I still remember the off the cuff Red Dead Redemption style headshot kill I got of it way back in winter. Unfortunately though in comparison to the other weapons at your disposal it just doesn't stack up. Its slow fire rate and minimal magazine size indicates that it's meant to be some form a sniper rifle substitute in mid to long range combat. But a decent enough idea, it just doesn't pack enough of a punch and it's too difficult to aim for the average player. With a choice between save a hunting rifle and a revolver, it's really no contest considering you can zoom the camera and it packs way more of a punch. You can argue about the fire rate being better than a hunting rifle, but once you get that first hit you're not really going to use it again, so you need to do as much damage as you possibly can. And in this situation, really you're better trying to go all CSGO with the assault rifle anyway. This is really just a confusing entry into the Fortnite weapon list to begin with, and really should be reworked and released at a later time, or just get rid of it completely, I don't think anyone's going to miss it. Number 5, the smoke grenade. This is a strange addition to the game but I don't think was needed to begin with. The idea was to hide your presence if you're found and confuse the enemy so that you can escape. 
that's what was supposed to happen. What actually happened was it became a meme item that was mainly used to troll players when trapped inside buildings. The way Fortnite combat works, if you're spotted and you throw down a smoke grenade, you're going to be found very shortly afterwards and if anything it just announces yourself to everyone around you. You're not going to stay in the same spot and it's only really useful if you're trying to evade snipers. You're basically picking up a big smoky neon sign which is not what you want when you're trying to get the jump on people. This item is about as thought out a decision as when they decided that friendly fire should be kept on even after millions of people complained about squad killing bombs into launch. The smoke grenade has since been involved by Epic Games and effectively been replaced by the stink bomb which actually deals damage so we won't be seeing this item anytime soon, if ever. Number 6, The Ceiling Zapper. Now if you're not an OG Fortnite player, it's probably news to you that there used to be more than one trap. Way back in the early days of Battle Royale, there used to be a wide range of traps, including the now redone jump pad and the somewhat infamous Ceiling Zapper. I actually liked the idea of it and thought it was the coolest trap in the game, but unfortunately for those who used it, you were very unlikely to get any kills of it. The trap had two main problems that made it obscenely obvious. Firstly, it was too big, but it was on the roof or planted on the side, you could see the trap from a mile away, which is a dead giveaway. And secondly, you could hear the buzzing sound they gave off way before you even got to see it in place. Needless to say this trap was quickly removed and you only get to see it now in the saved world portion of the game which is a shame because it could have worked if they just made it a bit more so. Having just a spike trap is too basic for me and they could really make traps a more viable tactical option if they just made it a bit more effective in close quarters battle. Having a remotely activated trap I like to have the C4 controls that doesn't blow everything up would be cool but I doubt we'll see anything like that anytime soon. And finally number 7 the door pistols. This is a fairly recent addition to the game but should have been better than it really is. It's simple thinking really, if you don't want one pistol then you can have two and the pistol itself isn't really a bad weapon by any means, however they somehow managed to make it utterly useless. In the first week when it came out the damage that it done was deadly, but since they reduced it to a measly 43 body damage max with a 3.96 fire rate, it doesn't really justify taking up space in your loadout. Considering it's more of a close quarters weapon, you're better off hedging your bets on a green tactical shotgun than a dual pistols, even though you risk getting that dreaded 9 damage even though they're right in front of you. Most of the time in those kind of fights you'll be facing a straight tactical shotgun or a pumpy and SMG combo which boasts a lot more damage and flexibility, so the idea of having dual pistols just because it kind of looks cool is pretty much flawed. Some of you may want to go all Rambo and gun people down like a boss, but if you're generally serious about winning but you should definitely give this weapon a miss. And that's it for the 7 weapons and items I think should never have made it into Fortnite Battle Royale. Don't forget to leave a like, share, comment, subscribe and make sure to hit that bell icon to keep up to date with all of my latest videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.